Let's talk about the use of live stem cells, particularly from umbilical cord tissue and their exosomes in the use of aesthetics or anti-aging medicine is, a, is another popular buzzword. So how can these things be applied and how can it, they help in, in, in applying them to people that want to look younger, not only feel good, but also look, you know, your best. And here in Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona, we have huge population of um, aesthetics. And so what what's, this is going to do is kind of separate that from what's typically used out there in, in the more of the cosmetic industry. So uh, what we're talking about is using live cells derived from an umbilical cord. And that's really key to use these live cells because exosomes are making a really popular uh, push in the field of aesthetics and for, and for good reason. Um, because they do have the necessary growth factors and proteins and stuff like that to make skin younger not only look younger looking, but younger um, down at a cellular level. Um, so live cells are important because there's lots of biological products out there that have growth factors, um, that have good, uh, they're anti-inflammatory, but they're probably not potent or strong enough compared to a live uh, a stem cell. And these live cells, if we can, when we can use them aesthetically can provide things like collagen production, which is going to make, um, a, you know, a young person's skin is so smooth and strong and resilient because it's higher in collagen, um, providing the necessary growth factors and basically medicine. When we put live cells in there, they, they're, they're able to create medicine into this environment. That's going to, that's going to be what's providing tissue regeneration. And, and to have older appearing skin with the wrinkles and the pigmentation and everything, it, th that tissue regeneration is going to be key in having that youthful kind of appearance. Um, Anti-inflammatory effects, the, the ability for a live stem cell to engraft and implant in the skin and then keep producing all the medicine that it's making to have an anti-inflammatory effect, which is going to be big for rosacea or you know, like myself growing up in, in Northwest Florida and working on the beach for so many years, or people here in Phoenix and in, in Scottsdale where it's really sunny the vast majority of the year, that's going to help uh, with that it's sun damage uh, appearance. Skin hydration is another one that plump looking skin, which is what a, a lot of uh, med spas and a lot of clinics will use kind of fillers for, um, which they, they can work pretty good. Personally, I don't love the fake look. Um, a lot of people love it. A lot of people feel like it makes them look, them look good and feel good. I'm more of in a, a, a natural kind of school, I guess. Uh, so using a more of a natural avenue for that is like cells and exosomes, uh, would be uh, to have the, the growth factors and the lipids that are provided from these cells give you a fuller kind of a plump uh, appearance. Uh, when we think of using live cells and exosomes, we think of like skin brightening. So evening that uneven pigmentation in the skin, which can come from uh, sun damage. I know before I started using, uh, have used cells and exosomes for on, on my skin a couple of times, I had a lot of sun damage uh, working on the beach for a long time, um, being outdoors, you know, which is, you know, is great. I, I highly um, encourage being outdoors, but for over so long, you start getting sun damage as you accrue more and more birthdays and you're out in the sun for a long time. Uh, so it being able to add the ingredients it needs to have that uneven pigmentation. Um, so what we do here is um, a combination of microneedling which is taking, um, we use skin pin. Uh, that's a, a, one of the, if not the best uh, out there on the market, 
it, it, it takes a bunch of little tiny metal, tiny little needles and it punctures wounds all over the face. So you're numbing the area up of, of, of course, and then you're running these little needles over the place. And then you're doing these little tiny little injections um, into the damaged areas of these live cells and exosomes. In aesthetics, it's also applied to hair regrowth. Almost the same concept, you're numbing up an area up and then you're injecting just under the scalp where there's some hair follicles. Um, and I've seen some really crazy stuff. I've seen some, some actual bald pouches be able to, to grow back. Um, usually we're doing this in addition to having platelet-rich plasma, which is very common. Uh, so kind of what sets us apart is it's very common to have platelet-rich plasma used on all these areas. Um, and where stem cells and exosomes take it to the next level is then the amount of growth factors and thing that they're producing. So PRP is good. It's been around for a long time. PRP, in addition to live cells and their exosomes, is kind of like uh, aesthetics 2.0. That's the that's the the future of, of anti-aging, at least in my opinion. Um, so, uh, great comment and great suggestion to 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 ask how can these live cells be used for aesthetics. Um, so, if you want to know more, uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave a comment below on something uh, another video you'd like to see. And uh, we'll keep posting all this good content um, for you. So thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.